73 years ago, a Danville native returned from his service in World War II and began what has become a landmark tradition, not only in his hometown, but for all of Kentucky. My father, Eben Henson, served in World War II. Um, with the GI Bill, he went to New York City to study acting. And then his father here in Danville, Kentucky, called him and he had um, had a heart attack and he needed his uh, son to come back and help with things. So dad came back to Danville, Kentucky, and he said, if I can't be on Broadway, I'm going to bring Broadway to the bluegrass. Eben Henson went to work dreaming and designing a summer stage for theater goers to enjoy plays under the stars. My father was a force of nature. You know, we would watch him, you know, build a building. He, he never uh, built anything with blueprints. He would kind of just draw a design on a napkin and he would put up a board and he would start nailing. All of this complex that you see around here um, is a complex that was created out of his passion for his dream. In 1956, his dreams would get a tremendous boost. He convinced MGM Studios to bring a major film production to the Bluegrass State. He heard that they wanted to film a movie called Rain Tree County. It was meant to be the next Gone with the Wind. It just was a huge, huge uh, film for the time. And all of the stars of the day, Elizabeth Taylor, Montgomery Clift, they were here in Danville living for six weeks. So it was quite a big story. Part of the film centered around a beautiful train station MGM would build and leave behind in Danville. Henson would quickly see the value of this building as a centerpiece for his new theater. He dug a hole in the ground, a huge hole to make an amphitheater, um, and the rest is history. The rest became this, this amazing Pioneer Playhouse. But just as his father's health drew him back to Danville, Henson's failing health would call to his children. Sister Holly would stay in Danville to help her father run the show. Then, as their father approached the end of his life, she developed cancer and died. Heather and Robbie left their careers in New York and LA to continue Eben Henson's dream. The show must go on is in our DNA in the Henson DNA. So we had a funeral a week later and we opened a show two weeks later. And that was it, we just went from there. And uh, Robbie moved back full time from LA and Robbie and I both then started to, uh, this became it, we're running the theater with my mother. Our dad started this 73 years ago. We've been a family run business since then. And we think it's a special theater. It's, it's not Carnegie Hall. It's, it's not the New York uh, Center of Theater. It is grassroots theater. Yeah. It's Kentucky theater. It's a wonderful tradition to watch sister and brother welcome the audience and remember their father. Every summer, the Playhouse puts on a series of five plays with laughter and applause filling the amphitheater. Another tradition that has become a great attraction for playgoers is the opportunity to enjoy dinner and to mingle before the play. We have patrons who have been coming back for years and they're so happy to see us. They're like, we just couldn't wait. We couldn't wait till the Playhouse opened again. And we couldn't wait to see you. The Playhouse has attracted actors from all around the country. It's part of Hanson's dream that he paid forward to fulfill the dreams of others. There have been hundreds, if not thousands, of actors who have come through these doors, it's like John Travolta or Lee Majors or Bo Hopkins or Jim Varney. But even as importantly are many actors who have gone on to be teachers, who have gone on to be better communicators in their work. Hundreds, if not thousands, of these actors have come through these doors, and I think that's the real magic of this place. As the sun sets and the play begins, the dream, begun 73 years ago, comes to life as the audience is enthralled and the night air fills with laughter and joy. It's a wonderful evening and a wonderful tradition for all Kentuckians to enjoy. Hey everybody, I'm Chip Holston and I am cherishing this Kentucky life. And if you enjoyed that story and would like to see more, click right here to see more.